Well, Y'all, thank you for coming here. Joining me today is Director Brian Sterling, Department of Corrections. And we're here with, a, with an important message for the people of South Carolina, but also for the General Assembly. All right. Recently, years ago, what is called a shield law was introduced at the request of Director Sterling. That law has not been passed. Since that time, a, in our death penalty progress, we have now 39 people on death row. And after the court challenges have been exhausted, or virtually exhausted on one, the, his execution date has been set for December the 1st. His name's Bobby Waste. Wayne Stone, and he killed a uh, sergeant in Sumter, Sheriff's Sergeant, Mr. Sergeant Charlie Kubala, who has a wife and two children surviving him. That was in 1997. And so here we are in 2017, and the execution date has now been set by the courts for December the 1st. But we're unable to do it because we don't have the drugs that are called for in the law to do a lethal injection. So why don't we have the drugs? The reason we don't have the drugs, despite efforts, intense efforts to get them, is because the companies that make them, the distributors who distribute them, and the pharmacists who may have to compound them, don't want to be identified. They are afraid that their names will be made known and that they don't want to have anything to do with it for fear of retribution or exposure of themselves, their families, their businesses, all perfectly good reasons. And with uh, inquiring press and inquiring people in such communications these days, it's easy to see why they would not want to be identified for being just one, one part of that series of people that may have one way or another touched or mailed or worked or done anything with those lethal drugs. So here we are at, a, at a, a dead stop and we can't do anything about it unless and until our legislature enacts the shield law that Director Sterling asked for years ago. What that shield law would do, very simply, is say that those people who are involved in all those procedures and processes that in any way involved with supplying these drugs, they're all innocent people, simply that their names would not be exposed. They would not be identified, either by subpoenas or freedom of information requests or things of, of that nature. It's very simple. And in order for us to proceed with justice in South Carolina, we must be able to carry out what the law has mandated. But again, we, we're not able to do it at this time because the legislature has not acted on this legislation and we want them to act on it positively and quickly so that justice can be done in South Carolina according to the law. Direct Sterling. Thank you, Governor. A couple of years ago, I appeared before both the House and the Senate and asked them for a shield law. What we did was we looked around the country to see the states that were able to carry out executions using um, the drugs. And we compiled, compiled the laws from different jurisdictions around the country. We went, I testified in front of the House, I testified in front of the Senate, I think there actually was a death penalty committee, and I testified and answered all the questions in front of those committees and asked them to pass the law. What we're here today is to ask them to pass the law in this upcoming session. We currently have an order. We've got about a week and a half to come up with the drugs and find the drugs, and right now we do not have the drugs. We are still trying. We've been trying since I was notified that the drugs had expired. They expired a month before I took over at the department. And ever since then, I directed my staff to try to find the drugs and find a supplier. Again, anytime we started a conversation with a company that makes the drugs, a pharmacy, a compounding pharmacy, or anybody that would be involved in it, they asked how they would be protected. And we told them that there's no shield law. So we are unable to get the drugs. and. We're kind of in an um, interesting place right now with what we're going to do. So um, if the General Assembly will pass the law, then we believe strongly, like other states, Texas, um, Oklahoma, 
Arkansas and other states, we will be able to carry out this execution, but right now we are unable to. Any questions? Well, there are certain things I think the public has a right to know, um, and in this case, I think the state you know, wants to carry out justice. Um, the family deserves it. The court has ordered it, and we're unable to carry out justice. So in this case, I think, um, you know, I'm happy to talk about the drugs that we use and all the other stuff, but honestly, the, the way and the, the, the reason that people want this is to go to the companies and stop them from selling the drugs. That's what I would say is that this is for justice and it's it's ordered by the state by a court of law. What are currently the drugs in our protocol and are you looking at ways to change that protocol so as to be able to Sure. So the drugs right now that we do not have are pentobarbital, which we could use midazolam. Um, the gross case out of the United States Supreme Court from two years ago said midazolam was okay. Pancurium bromide. And the third drug is potassium chloride, none of which we have. So we don't have any of those three drugs right now? All of those <laughs> drugs are expired or we're unable to get them and we've um, returned them to the manufacturer because they have been expired. One other thing that I will add is um, you know, the FDA, we used to be able to get these drugs from other countries and the FDA stopped us from doing that a couple years ago. Some states have gone to a single drug protocol. Is that something that you look at as well? I'm not going to talk about what we're looking at, but we're looking at every option. It's a very good question, and we get there, we'll know, but we're going to continue to try to find the drugs. So far, we've been unsuccessful. And again, I warned about this a couple years ago in the General Assembly when I um, testified, and I said, we're going to be here one day. What are we going to do? So that's why we're action, asking for action. When was that decision by the FDA made that you said prohibited using the drugs in the country? It was before this current administration. Um, actually, I think the state of Texas has a lawsuit against the FDA now because they made them turn in some, uh, some drugs. I think that was filed this spring. So... You can find that online. Is that really the crux of the problem, though? Is that FDA decision not allowing you to get drugs in other places? Well, it's, made it so limited. it's multifaceted. First of all, when we were able to get the drugs, we did get them from, from Europe. So that does take uh, one way to get the drugs out. But also, the other states that have the shield law, they're able to obtain the drugs, and they're able to carry out the executions. And we don't have the shield law, and we're not able to carry it out. That's why I went to the General Assembly and asked them <coughs> to, um, to pass this law. Well, um, not for Stone, but overall, because he has made the choice to have a lethal injection, which is the law allows for. It, the the uh, electric chair is the possibility. However, he made the choice as the law allows. The only way that these drugs, and it would go back to the electric chair, is if a court determined that the drugs were unconstitutional, and no court has done that yet. And then it would, it would, um, it would go back to the electric chair. The question was asked about what can we do when we get to December the 1st or some later date months after that, the easiest thing and quickest thing to do would be for the General Assembly simply to take this law up, take this bill up immediately and pass it. Because uh, South Carolina has been clear in the people of South Carolina, clear in their support of justice, including the death penalty. And in order to allow that death penalty law to function through the courts is to pass this shield law. Otherwise, we'll be right here uh, until that happens. Any more questions? Thank you for coming out. Thank you all very much.